As tensions continue to escalate with China and North Korea, the United States and its allies recently participated in the world's largest international maritime exercise, RIMPAC 2022, with the cooperation of more than 26 nations. During the event, the U.S. Pacific Fleet planned to mop things up with a sinking exercise, or SYNCX, to show its counterparts a real taste of Allied firepower. The vessel chosen to be sent to the ocean's depths was the decommissioned frigate USS Rodney N. Davis, and footage taken by the Navy shows the ship's damage before finally going down. Still, the mighty ship put up quite a fight before finally letting go. The Rim of the Pacific On June 30th, 2022, the United States Navy launched the 28th edition of the Biennial Rim of the Pacific, or RIMPAC, the world's largest international maritime exercise. According to the U.S. Pacific Fleet, the exercise involved 26 nations, 38 surface ships, 4 submarines, 9 national land forces, more than 30 unmanned systems, approximately 170 aircraft, and more than 25,000 personnel that train and operate in and around Hawaii. Some of the countries that formed part of this year's RIMPAC included the United States, Canada, Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Peru, India, Japan, South Korea, Australia, Malaysia, Thailand, Tonga, and Singapore. The first RIMPAC exercise dates back to 1971, when the United States and its allies were still at war in Vietnam against the Communists. RIMPAC aims to promote stability and maritime security in the Pacific Ocean, as well as friendly relations and cooperation between allied nations. Additionally, RIMPAC helps the participants gain valuable experience in joint naval and ground operations. The RIMPAC exercise includes anti-submarine and anti-aircraft operations, amphibious landings, reconnaissance missions, counter-piracy, mine clearance, diving, salvage, and explosive ordnance disposal exercises. Additionally, humanitarian aid and natural disaster assistance are also scheduled for the joint operations. During the kickoff gathering of RIMPAC 2022, Vice Admiral Michael Boyle said, quote, By coming together as capable, adaptive partners, and on the scale that we are, we are making a statement about our commitment to work together, to foster and sustain those relationships that are critical to ensuring the safety of the sea lanes and the security of the world's interconnected oceans. Syncex. The most critical event within RIMPAC is the Sink at Sea Live Fire Training Exercises, or Syncex, in which the navies of Australia, Canada, Malaysia, and the U.S. all participated. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation and Maritime Transportation, the program run by the U.S. Navy arranges for decommissioned naval warships to be used in live fire training. The exercise allows U.S. Navy personnel to, quote, use real ammunition on practical targets and apply what they learn to future conflict, practicing gunnery, missile drills, torpedo accuracy, and even special warfare operations. The Maritime Administration, or MARAD, has developed a memorandum of agreement with the Navy to include selected MARAD ships in the Navy's SYNCX program. According to MARAD, these vessels provide a real-world hardened target for sea live fire exercises and opportunities for air, surface, and subsurface forces to integrate, plan, and execute firing, live ordnance, and tactical plans. Using these ships also offers enhanced training opportunities with multinational forces, such as those that comprise RIMPAC. Moreover, the exercises facilitate the disposal of unwanted, dangerous, expensive, and high-maintenance ships at a minimal cost without harming the environment. To ensure that the ocean is not contaminated, the U.S. Navy and the Maritime Administration have a strict ship disposal program that thoroughly inspects every vessel to see if it is viable for the program. Sinking MARAD ships requires removing environmentally hazardous materials in strict compliance with the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, regulations. 
Each ship is put through a rigorous cleaning process that includes the removal of petroleum from tanks, polychlorinated biphenyls, large capacitors, transformers, mercury, and any other material that can be turned into trash. 15,000 feet deep, On July 18th, the United States Pacific Fleet Command released a video from the SYNC-X exercise that took place during RIMPAC 2022, in which the U.S. Navy and the Pacific Fleet Command chose to use the retired guided missile frigate USS Rodney M. Davis. The sinking of Rodney M. Davis happened in waters 15,000 feet deep, located about 50 nautical miles north of Kauai. Rodney M. Davis was an old Oliver Hazard Perry-class guided missile frigate that was first launched in 1985. Prior to the end of the Cold War, the ship was homeported at Japan, but never saw combat. Despite its powerful radar, sonar, and armament, the frigate was decommissioned in 2015 and sent to Naval Station Everett for dismantlement. At RIMPAC 2022, units from the U.S. Navy, the Royal Australian Navy, the Royal Canadian Navy, and the Royal Malaysian Navy participated to gain proficiency in targeting tactics and live firing against a surface objective at sea. According to the Royal Malaysian Navy, SYNC-X-2022 marked the first time its forces conducted a missile firing outside of the country's home waters. Their corvette, KD Lakir, employed a powerful Exocet MM-40 missile that devastated USS Rodney M. Davis and left it full of smoke after impacting her rear. The Exocet is a French anti-ship missile that can be launched from surface vessels, submarines, fixed-wing aircraft, and aircraft. It weighs 1,720 pounds and carries a warhead of 364 pounds. An Exocet's range varies between 25 and 110 nautical miles, depending on the version. Footage from the Malaysian Navy shows how the KD Lakir's crew prepared before the missile launch that hit Rodney M. Davis minutes later. Following the Exocet impact, HMCS Winnipeg from the Royal Canadian Navy fired two harpoon missiles that scored direct hits on the frigate. Footage taken by drones captured the strength of the ship's hull, which was still standing strong after two missile hits. Instants later, a U.S. Navy P-8A Poseidon Maritime was filmed deploying an AGM-84D harpoon missile, scoring the fourth hit on the old American ship. Fire and dense clouds of smoke were now emerging from the deck of Rodney M. Davis, but she would not go down yet. A lone F-A-18F Super Hornet was then filmed taking off from the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln to put Rodney M. Davis down for good. The Navy Super Hornet was carrying a GBU-16 laser-guided bomb, and seconds after taking off from the aircraft carrier, it approached the target and deployed the state-of-the-art weapon. The 453-foot vessel could not take it anymore after sustaining that much damage and finally went to the depths of the ocean. SYNC-X 2022 ended with great success. Encouraging results. Royal Canadian Navy Rear Admiral Christopher Robinson spoke highly of the joint exercise, saying, quote, There's nothing that really replaces the training value of opportunities such as this, which enable us to test our weapons and their associated combat systems with as much realism as possible. These live fire exercises are vital for maintaining our proficiencies, building our interoperability, and increasing our readiness for future operations. And regarding the involvement of the Malaysian Navy, Admiral Modreza Monsani, Chief of the Royal Malaysian Navy said, quote, The SYNC-X was a professionally enriching experience for the crew of KD Lakir. These events provide an excellent platform toward enhancing interoperability amongst the participating navies. There's no question that the joint effort between the Allied nations will strengthen their relations, but also their operational capabilities in case of a natural disaster or a swift military action against any hostile force that threatens their turf. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned for more.